Welcome to Listen Out Loud. Lynn Loud, a.k.a. LJ, a.k.a. five-time winner of the Presidential Fitness Award in the house. For my podcast, I've come up with a kick-butt at-home workout so you can learn how to break a sweat without ever leaving your house. Why? Because gym memberships are expensive. Also, because sometimes people get banned from all the gyms in town for eating spicy subs in their saunas. Whatever, I offer to share. Anyway, listen in for how you can work out. First up, cardio. One easy way of getting the old ticker going is running laps. Personally, I don't run my fastest unless I'm being chased. So for extra motivation, I'll be using my big sister Lori for this demo. We're outside her room right now. Okay, Boo Boo Bear, it's your turn. If I was a fruit, what would I be? Um, a blueberry? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, go on. This is really gonna make Lori mad, but in my defense, she drank my last protein shake. Here we go. (sighs) (sighs) I'll take that. Hey, give me back my phone. This is where you really wanna take up those knees. Stop it, you (laughs) maniac! Babe, are you being kidnapped? Tell me what to do. You're little. I can get in a solid five laps around the house before Lori tires out. Lynn, I am literally gonna rip your ponytail off. Gotta catch me first. Come on, LJ, push it, push it. (laughs) I beat my personal best. OMG, I hate running. This is why I golf. Babe, should I get ransom money together? Sup, bobsled? Your blueberry is just fine. Here's your phone back, Lori. Thanks for being a sport. Like I had a choice. Lynn, it's literally covered in sweat. Okay, listeners, let's head inside for another cardio staple. (laughs) Might as well do this at a light jog just to keep the heart rate up. (laughs) So we're gonna play some racquetball. (laughs) Don't have a court? No bra, Bob. Just use the hallway. (laughs) Serves up. (laughs) Really? With the racquetball? BL dog, your B just cost millions in grant money. <laughs> Woo, all right. Now that we've got a good sweat going, it's time for some weight training, baby. Let's head to the dining room where we can activate beast mode. Dear Principal Huggins, it's no prob if you don't have a weight bench. You can use other junk, like your dining room table. Substitute teacher cries. Yo, mom, you mind taking five while I power through some reps? <sighs> I guess. Now. <clears throat> You want to squat down and lift with your legs. Oh, now you're back. Uh, sweetie, maybe you could lift something else. I really need to finish this email. Oh, sure, Mom. My B. I'll just lift the china cabinet. Good idea, honey. Wait, what? Lynn Jr., absolutely not. Fine, fine. At least I got a little quad work done. Now. Let's move on to our abs. Personally, I find sit-ups boring, so I've developed a more fun way to go. All you need is two people in a fight. Luckily, in my house, fights start all the time. Oh, come on! Ew! (laughs) Dude, stop hiding pudding in my boots. It's not funny! What did I tell you? Sorry, I know you're not a custard to it. One more pun, and I'm serious, I'm gonna... Fine, I just thought you'd be taffy okay with it. All right, let's head upstairs while this fight is still raging. Now my technique is to jump in, plant your feet firmly, and push back the two fighters. You really want to work your core here. Don't let her at me. Hold as long as you can. Waiting, you got metal in your mouth. And release! Uh oh! <laughs> well, all right, that was a great set. Now let's talk about increasing your vertical jump distance. All you need is a surface about three feet off the ground, which is the exact height of my sister Lucy's coffin. I recommend three sets of ten reps. Lynn, I'm in here. Ah, cool, what's up? Could you cut it out? I sure lose my bee. Great. You scuffed the varnish. Ah, all right. Next, I'm going to teach you guys how to get definition in your arms, like Michelle Obama. She's my upper arm role model. For this demo, we're going to need to go to the kitchen. All you need are some cans. Ah, this 
sparkling water should work nicely. Now, keeping the upper arm stationary, exhale and curl the cans. Keep going until you feel the burn in your biceps. Boom! Done! Oh, hey, Lynn. Can I have one of those? Uh, sure, thinking. But you might want to give it a minute, because... <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to teach you guys how to turn any room into a steam room. Since there's no one in the living room, we'll do it here. First, you want to turn the thermostat all the way up. Grab a hose and... <laughs> Cool, group steam? Sweetie, no, I'm sorry, but your at-home workouts are a little... Annoying! Yeah, you're driving everyone crazy. Yeah, yeah. I'm just glad it's over. Going. Oh, my bee, guys. I didn't realize I was being such a pain in the glutes. It's okay, LJ. We know you didn't mean any harm. Do we know that? Hmm, what if there is a way I can still work out, but instead of annoying you guys, make you happier than you've ever been? That sounds unlikely. Yeah, how are you gonna pull that off? Well, taking out the trash is your chore, right, Stinkin'? Check it. Hup, boom, trash. Hup, boom, recycling. <laughs> boom, purr. See, did your chore for you and worked out my triceps. <laughs> Sweet, thanks, Lynn. You know, I like where this is going. Luna, I can lift the sofa while you're vacuuming. Oh, and Lori, I can speed fold all the shirts after you wash them. Hey, you want to help your old man organize the pantry? Got a lot of heavy cans in there. Don't you know it? Great for the delf. How about walking Charles? Done. In fact, I was just about to tell the listeners that I always end my workouts with a half marathon. Come on, Charles. Let's go, buddy. All right, we're going to pause the podcast for a second. Be right back, listeners. Hey guys, LJ back with you. Just dominated everyone's chores, and now it's time to wrap up the podcast. But don't forget the most important part of your workout. Always stay hydrated. Ooh, sparkling water. Lynn, you might not wanna... <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, might be. 